We foresee large applications for seaweed cultivation on a large scale. First of all, bioremediation. Secondly, food and feed applications, additives for foods and feeds. And third of all, all kinds of nutraceuticals and pharmaceutical compounds, which can be derived from seaweeds. At the moment, they're taking a lot of seaweed from the Far East um, and some native Irish species, and they're mixing them together into different blends for each of the animals. Um, based on what their diet needs and what their health benefits or what health problems they have. It's that this will help with uh, mitigating harvests of natural stocks of seaweed. If there's going to be a demand for seaweed, we would prefer that it comes from farming rather than from harvesting natural stocks, so that's a significant consideration. Currently, most seaweed that we produce in Europe is actually being harvested. Only a very small amount is actually cultivated, and in order to do so, people use typically ropes. So basically a one-dimensional substrate. The unique approach of ATC is the switch to two-dimensional textile substrates. The ATC consortium consists of 11 partners from all over Europe along the Atlantic coast, from Norway till Morocco. We have four different expertises in the project consortium. We have marine engineers, textile engineers, we have biologists and uh, process engineers. This makes the, the consortium a unique consortium. Our project shows also very well the potential of technical textiles. By carefully selecting the material, optimizing the structure of the textile fabric and by developing a coating, we could develop a textile substrate on which the seaweed really likes to grow. So we started with maybe 20 or 30 different fabrics in small blocks and now we have two different fabrics in much larger rolls of uh, 10 metres. Fabrics offer an opportunity to create basically a 2D or 3D structure in the water. When you're growing on ropes, you're growing on a single axis. 
when you grow on large swathes of fabrics, you create a much larger area to grow the seaweed on, uh, and that should give you better productivity. culture to be really sustainable, we need to look at all the different ecological aspects of, of cultivation and how that's going to impact on the environment, look at uh, what kind of habitat the cultivation is going to be um, located in, and that will obviously depend on the scale, and what will be the effects of seaweed cultivation and all the different types of species and all, all multi-users of that space. And it's great to see the ATSI project um, trying to find some answers to the questions and, and uh, looking at the important issue of uh, sustainability right from the start. I think it would be remarkably easy to integrate uh, large scale algae farms within existing aquaculture infrastructure. Uh, there's a lot of expertise within the existing aquaculture industry. There's, they know how to moor things, they know how to work with the boats and how to work uh, managing different life cycles. And there's a lot of synergies between the two. There's the concept of integrated uh, aquaculture where waste streams from uh, some of the aquaculture uh, feeds into the seaweed cultivation and makes the seaweed grow uh, faster and larger. And you get a double benefit of a larger crop and uh, reducing the environmental impact of uh, the existing aquaculture. Since uh, six years we have a um, cooperation with uh, Horti Mare on one uh, location and uh, since uh, three years uh, we, uh, Horti Mare is producing uh, seaweed close to, uh, to this location and uh, we are very interested in this uh, um, polyculture you can say because we are aware of, uh, of the nutrients which is coming from the fish uh, into the sea and uh, we hope that uh, the seaweed is taking up these nutrients in an effective way and uh, in this way it will be a benefit on uh, both sides. And today here we are at a fish farm in Norway, a salmon farm and you can see here um, this, this salmon produces an enormous amount of nutrients, um, the fertilizer, and this fertilizer we use to produce the seaweed um, in a concept what is named integrated aquaculture. Well, we have now at this location two hectares of seaweed already growing. That it's going to be a business and so there will be business considerations. And so the existing aquaculture infrastructure may not necessarily suit optimal business models for seaweed cultivation. So uh, since the, the, the results are excellent, uh, the consortium has decided to create a spin-off of the project. So we will uh, start uh, a new company called uh, Atsi Technologies. And the good news is that uh, most of the partners will uh, invest in this new company. Now we think we can move to the next step is to build uh, industrial uh, seaweed farms. The unique proposal of uh, ATSI technology is that we can propose uh, a turnkey uh, seaweed farm. We have partners specialized in textile, we have partners specialized in seaweeds, we have uh, partners uh, uh, specialized in uh, application of seaweed. So really we have uh, a good uh, group which uh, propose all the service uh, linked to a seaweed uh, farm.
main outcomes of the ETSI project are, first of all, the fact that we were able to identify advanced textiles which give high yields in seaweed uh, upon cultivation. Secondly, we were able to show that the systems, the mooring system and the sheets, were able to withstand the harsh European conditions at sea. Last but not least, I would like to thank the European Commission, also on behalf of all the partners, for the financial support to be able to perform this project.